Warning. The following video contains graphic and disturbing images. You've been warned. Hello everybody, I am Shepples and welcome back to Let's Play The Cat Lady. Okay, so we're on chapter 6 after just surviving that complete and utter psychopath's attempts at murdering us when he got et by cats. I, I love this game. I, I think it's so well written and it, it's really, really good. But in another way, I don't I don't like it because it's playing with with my emotion, my feelings. It's, you know, it, it's really toying with me all the time and making me feel all kinds of different emotions. But that's what makes it so good. But y you kind of get what I mean. Right, okay. Map. Check map. So this is... This is Joe and Ivy Davis. It's flat. Joe lives here with his wife. I haven't seen them for a while though. Maybe they've gone for a holiday. I think I heard something. No, it was probably just my imagination. I guess they're not in, that's great, I never liked them much. It's locked. Talk so, let's look around first. We must check everyone. I'm absolutely sure I of Adam is living in one of these flats. Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna be them. Um... Okay, before we go picking any locks, let's um, <coughs> let's start just knock on each door, see if anyone answers or anything like that. Ah, oh, look, it's the cats. Okay, map. So, flat two, flat one is empty, and flat two there's a dog. A nose. Read. Flat one, we apologize for cluttering the hall. The removal company has been called and they will collect the sofa and chair soon. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but we're sure you can put up with these few s few items for a bit longer, just like we'd put up with your dog for all these years. The Morrisons. The Morrisons' family used to live here. They moved out a little while ago. Don't think this is nah. Uh listen. Only silence. I don't see there being any needs. What's this? Radiator. Examine. These radiators are some sort of some of <coughs> excuse me, are some of the few remnants of the old days. Most have been taken off the walls. Those that are left haven't been working for years. Listen. There is a dog behind there. I don't like dogs. A grumpy old woman lives here with her ugly dog. I hate dogs. Um, don't really want to dis disturb an elderly lady, now, do we? We go to third floor. This is where the asshole lives. Brian, or whatever his name is. Bicycle. Examine. Since Brian doesn't own a car every day, he rides his bicycle to get to work. It's not just his pride and joy, but also his only means of transportation. But he'd be gutted if something happened to it. I would love to. I would love to! How funny would that be if the crank went missing? Probably wouldn't even notice until the very last minute when he's already left. All, he's all ready to leave for work with no time to spare. Alright, I'm not going to be evil about it. Examine. This, it's Brian's flat. He deserves to be taught a lesson. If it wasn't for him, I would never get kidnapped by that crazy guy and his cannibal wife. And here's someone walking inside. Okay, I've got a bone to pick with this asshole. 
No, I don't want to talk to him. There must be some other way we can get inside and check if he's who we're looking for. I'd really like to teach him a, less a lesson, so I'm not, I'm not someone he should be messing with. I'm going to remove the crank. It can't be done by hand, I need the right tool to remove it. <sighs> I'd love to kick it, but it'd make too much of a ruckus. Rag. Examine. It's been hung out here to dry a long time ago. So who's here? An old man. Okay, listen. I think I heard someone cough. He's home alright. Examine. An old man lives here. I don't think it'll be long until he's taken into care. But right now he still seems independent enough to do his shopping and cleaning. Sometimes I see him in the hallway. A polite guy. Always says hello and smiles. So there's something not quite right about him. Early stages of dementia, perhaps? Right, we'll Would talk you like to, to this talk guy. to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, We'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Uh, let me get my hair again. Do you think he'll be back with a shotgun? Don't be silly. This isn't America. Uh, I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. <laughs> I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no, with all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in nah. my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait! Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Unless he's not alone. You should ask him about that before we go. Can I help you? No, thanks. We're fine. Have you found some batteries? What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before, I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year, but I can still cook my dinner and I make my bed every morning all by myself. So, you do live alone then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed this every morning all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. 
We're just here to ask about. I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning, all by myself. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. Okay. Right. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna get my revenge on that asshole before this is over. I'm gonna really get payback on him. Okay, so the pram is here, which means she's definitely home. Uh sorry, I was about to press M there because that's what I'm used to. Okay, so Examine. This is where Pauline lives. She's a young mother and until recently a busy hotelier. Listen. Okay, there's there's a baby crying. I don't want to disturb. Cable. Examine. These cables are hanging loose. I don't think they're very safe. Examine. It's an extra meter for both flats door. Examine. Some young guy lives here. I think his name is Jesse. He makes a lot of noise, apparently. Alright, let's talk. He won't answer the door, is he deaf? Yeah, but I don't want to... Sort of... Oh, I don't know. That's just... Okay. The person with the pram... With the baby, that's... Not our suspect at all. Let's go into flat one, shall we? I just don't like disturbing people. Let's, uh. It's locked. Okay, pick the lock. Really? Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Yeah, I get it. Do I don't mind. I don't like anybody sort of no, you know, sure. over my shoulder. I'll just walk away for a minute my, and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like that either. Okay, spanner. I'll take that. I'm gonna use that to fuck over your man. Hole. Look at. This hole must have been made quite recently. It's Joe Davis's flat up there. What is he thinking, digging holes in the floor? Right in the edge of some black shiny object. I can't quite tell what it's f what it is, what it is from here. But it looks like some kind of old statue. Okay, table. And it's rotten through. Window. Look at. This is a sunny side of the building. My side is always covered in dark, or so it seems. Clearly this place is empty. 
I reckon we can cross it off the list. Okay, another one crossed off. But I got a spanner. This is What does depression feel like? Well, it feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. That's funny. Most of the time I feel like I want to live, but I have to die. Hmm. Socket. Examine. Just an ordinary electrical socket. Well, thank you for that information. There's no way I can reach it, it's too high. If that table on the right wasn't damaged so bad, I could probably stand on it. But as it's all rotten, I'd probably only fall and break my neck. I have to find another way to get that statue from up there. Wait, did that move? I thought the statue moved. Okay, so far. Uh, examine. The cats seem attracted to it, but why? It's just an old sofa. The Morrisons left it here when they moved out. There are some stitches on it and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? Ah, okay. really want to go in there? I mean, that dog could be a savage beast. Could eat me. Uh. All right. Uh. Do we really want to do this? Bad idea. There's a dog inside. I hate dogs. Yeah, I don't. Blame, yeah. I don't have anything against dogs, but it wouldn't be a good idea to go in there. Uh, okay. We'll go up to the second floor and we'll talk to the Davis, is it? Joe Davis? I guess they're not in. That's great, I never liked them much. Alright. Time to do a bit of a bit of lock picking. Can you unlock this door? Let's see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just Beyond me, why would anyone need one of these here? They must have something to hide. Is there any other way we can get inside then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic drill. Or a key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. Okay. Um Don't want to butter She won't talk to Brian anyway. But I do want to screw him over. <laughs> Go. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. Okay, maybe with this I could reach the statue in um, in the. Oh, really? Do I have to? Oh, that's okay. The the statue I could use to crank to you know just. Pull it down. Uh, I can't do anything with. 
range is too high. But j just, just use that. I know it's not exactly big. All right, all right, all right. I love to see Brian pedal to work with his wine drink. <laughs> Apart from that, I might actually find some use for it. Well, I thought that we were going to find some use for it, but we haven't. Okay. So, we've got the dog here, so we can't go in there. We can't get into the Davis house because it's got one of those really sophisticated locks. Brian won't talk to us, nor do we want to. I suppose the only other place to check is maybe the house with the baby in it and then cut off the power after that and see if your man with making all the racket will will uh, talk to us. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. Let's just pull the plug on the All electricity. Right. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about it either. Has that guy still got music blasting? Okay, let's pull the plug on this bitch. If I could pull them out, I'd cut off the electricity for both flats. Unfortunately, they're too firm attached to the meter. Use. La 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 la. It's just a tripped fuse, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Hmm. Just looking at it is painful. I can understand why. Okay, I'm running out of options here. There's nowhere we're getting into there. And okay, I can't go on back into the uh, we'll go to the ground floor. Okay. The dog lady. Oh Examine. Someone put fair to pick flowers and vest to brighten up the grim looking hall. They're like a bunch of roses on a long forgotten one day fruit. you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. Mailbox. Open. No mail for Susan Ashford. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so this is the lady... Examine. Looks heavy. I think it's meant to be a storage place for cleaning progs, vases, and junk mail. 
Those who have lived in this house as long as me will know there's actually a door to the basement behind it. No one goes down there anymore, it's not safe apparently. Alright, let's talk to... She lives in flat too with that stinky mongrel of hers. I can't remember her real name. I've always called her the dog lady. Needless to say, we're not best of friends, but we usually do our best not to show it. Alright, let's talk to her. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable <laughs> lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't help him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. That's harsh. Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. Uh, look. look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on the first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. <laughs> then you'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. I have to go now. See you later. There's nothing useful inside this pies and pies of leaf. I could push the cabinet out of the way, but I really don't want to be seen. If only we could get rid of this old witch somehow. Yeah, bunk her over the head with the crank. But no, not going to do that. Right, can we search outside the building? This guy is hiding here in this in this house. There's no reason to go outside. Um, first floor. There's something about that. Couch, then. Nice long shop. Um. Okay, so we need to get, we need to get her to move somehow. But I, I. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, what do we do? Can we not bring the sofa in here? So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog. Yeah, but that's what I'm thinking of. Somehow I need to get this. Uh, let me see. I, I'm running out of ideas here. I really am. Flower smell. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful, nosy old witch. <laughs> Aha! Maybe now I can open the stitching in the... Sofa? So I'm the cat lady and she's the dog lady. Kinda mixes, yeah. So maybe now I can open. Ah! Use! Reach inside. Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats love it. It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. Oh, what a shame they moved out. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, what if we go and tell the old dog lady about that? Maybe she won't be such an old bitch to us. I have to go now. See you later. Oh. Could we put her through her mail... Oh, no, they don't have mailboxes here, do they? Ah. use it on something? You know what? Just for the shits and giggles. The cats would hang around this spot for weeks. Okay. What if we... What if we put it in flat one and then that would get them to hang around in the flat and not outside it. Would that work? Maybe? Don't know what I'm gonna use it on. The table maybe? Then what? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, wouldn't you love to put it on Brian's bicycle? Oh, I, I, I'm gonna try it. But then I'm gonna have to leave it here for this part. But yeah. Oh, could we do it? Or put it on the radiator? 
cats will stay here for weeks. Perhaps I should pour it on something that I can later remove. There, there's a rag. I can borrow the rag and put it on her radiator, and then that will get her to move. Yes, I'm going to borrow this. I'll bring it back to you in a while, old man. All right. We do is we're gonna do this, use it, and then we'll use this. Come on, guys, the party moved over here. Where are they? This is A. Well, aren't they quick? <laughs> this dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort a dog out. Ah. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for this part, guys. I'm going to continue on in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and have fun. <laughs>